everyone, it's Kaylee here for Soy Ying Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. Today we are going to go and make the jelly bean soap. I am really, really excited about this one. It has come up so good and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's go and see. Alright, so let's get started on this soap. Now I have put this soap off for so long because the actual design I have got in my head for this one, it is relatively simple, but it is going to create so much washing up and there is just absolutely no way of getting around it. But let's do it anyway. What I have done is I have split my soap batter up. I essentially want to create three layers in this soap but I want the bottom to be a quarter and then I'll have like half through the top and a quarter on the top. Now I want my top and bottom layers to be black and I want them to both be the same shade of black. So I have split my soap batter in half. So we've got the half for my middle layer and then we've got the half for the top and the bottom. But I've put all my black in here. I'm gonna mix the black in and then I'm going to split this oil back up into its quarters just to make sure, split this bit into half to make my quarters and that's just going to make sure that I end up with a nice even layer on the top and bottom. Alright, so we have got our black split up. I also have the little individual jugs for these. So it is now time to start getting this soap put together. So let me just get myself a bit tidied up here. We will start with one of these black jugs and we're going to do this as we do with all soaps. I'm going to pour my sodium hydroxide distilled water solution into my black. I'm going to mix it up until we are at a emulsion to light trace and then I'm going to pour it straight into that soap mold and I want it to set up quite firmly. So I almost did it. I was so concentrating on all the layers I have to do. I almost forgot about my fragrance oil. So we'll get that added in. I'm not happy that that's gone milky. That is never a good sign. It usually means it's going to rice. Hopefully it's just reacting to the black, which I think, yes, it is. So I am using a fragrance oil called Jelly Bean. I actually got this from Heirloom Body Care months and months and months ago. I mean, I think I actually bought it in 2019 and it's just been sitting there waiting for me to get the silicon mold making material and also to be prepared for using all the pots that I'm going to be making today. It is smelling so good. I think it may be a version of the Nature's Garden version of Jelly Bean because it has exactly the same notes, which is peach, pear, some strawberry, raspberry, vanilla, and mustics. Now, the only thing with the um, with the description on Heirloom Body Care is that it does not give the vanillin level on there. I'm kind of working off that it may have 2% vanillin because that is about what all of the other fragrance oil websites out there say that Jelly Bean has. So that's why I'm going for some quite dark and also very bright colours in this soap. There will be no white because I just don't want it to discolour on me at all. I am going to get this completely scraped out and then we will let it sit here for about I oh, know five minutes to really firm up and then we will come back and we will start doing the middle layer. All right, so the black is now all set up nice and firmly. It's a nice level surface as well, which is absolutely brilliant. It's now time to move on to the next bit and this is where all the washing up is going to be created. So I've got about half of my oils and my lye solution here. I'm going to start as I always do and pour in that lye solution, mix it up just a little bit. Then we're gonna split it out for lots and lots of colors. All right, keeping myself nice and fluid in this for now. Let's get this cleaned off so I don't make any more mess than what I actually really need to have to. 
let's get started. And so the black layer, so if you watched the embed making video for this one, some of you would have been disappointed there were no black jelly beans. And that is because I want the bottom and the top layer of the soap to be about the black jelly beans. And then in the middle, we're going to do all the colors. So I'm going to split this up evenly between these jugs. We have some really red mica from Nurture Soap. The rest of these colors all come from My Micro Obsession. We have a bit of orange pop. We have some Wellington for our yellow. Just pouring bits in for now. I have some Caribbean green because I love how bright and cheery that one is. I'm using cobalt blue for this one today. And then in my last pot, my favorite purple she does, which is Eminence. So I will finish splitting what I've got in here up between these six jugs. We'll get the color mixed in and then add in our fragrance and then we're gonna start pouring it into our mold. All right, so I'm actually gonna use stainless steel teaspoons to mix these just because I find it easier to do so. I'm gonna start down at my green. We will add in just a little bit of fragrance into all of these, making sure I save enough for that final layer, which I do. So I'm just gonna go pop that into my black, mainly so I don't forget to add that in at the end. I'm gonna get all of these stirred in and then we'll go and grab the mold and get to pouring. So we've got all of those colors in there. I'm not gonna get the nice flat even layer for this top one, but I'm really, really pleased with how those colors are coming together and they're gonna really, really pop as this sets up. Let's go and get the rest of that black to pour on the top of this one. is looking absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna leave it sit here for about 10 minutes so at the top of that can firm up. And then we're gonna put our jelly bean embeds on the top. All right, so we are set up and ready to go and we have some brightly colored jelly beans. Now a little while ago, I put out a video showing how I made some silicone molds using some pinky seal and using some jelly beans to create these. And then I used some clear melt and pour with the same rainbow colors to make these. And all I'm now going to do is just randomly scatter them on the top of my bar of soap. So what is your favorite color of jelly bean and your favorite brand of jelly bean as well? I love, 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 love black jelly beans. I know um, when I did my licorice all sorts soap. A lot of people actually also said they do like licorice. So how many of you also like black jelly beans in the packet or are they the ones that you leave until the bottom of the bag for somebody like me to come along and eat them all up? My favorite brand of jelly bean, I actually like the Allen's jelly beans that we get. They're a lot smaller than these. I didn't use the Allen's ones to create these with because they are a smaller jelly bean and they do cost a little bit more. So these were just a home brand one. Don't tend to like the home brand jelly beans. They tend to be a little bit too sugary for my liking, but the Allen's jelly, jelly beans are really nice and they have my other favorite color jelly bean in them, which is blue. I love blue lollies and you don't get very many blue ones. I do like the Jelly Belly jelly beans but they are super duper expensive here in Australia and up until probably about I don't know it must have been oh, about five to maybe ten years ago the only place you could buy jelly belly beans was to go into the the lolly shops to go and get them so the ones where you could actually go in and do self-serve you never used to get them in the supermarket we can actually now get 
Jelly Belly in the supermarket and they generally come in the little packets um, but they are still super expensive and although they have some brilliant flavours in there I just I don't think they're quite worth the expense when I can get the Allen's Jelly Beans as well. So what's your favourite colour and your favourite um, brand of jelly bean? I'm going to get all these stuck in here and then once I've got them in I am going to bring you down for a closer look. Add to the top of this I did give it a really good dusting with some silver stargazer biodegradable glitter which I get from Aussie soap supplies and it's just got every color of the rainbow in its little shimmering pattern it goes really really well with those jelly beans they really do pop against the black of that soap I'm gonna leave it sit overnight and then we're gonna come back in just a moment and have a look and see what we've got in the middle of this one I can't wait to see it all right, I am so excited to cut open this jelly bean soap. Look how bright and colorful and cheery it is. I have been really hanging out to cut this one. Generally, I let my soap sit in the mold and the silicon liner for about 18 to 20 hours. And then for those sort of last four to six hours, I let them sit on the side without the liner on so they can start to really firm up. And I have just been eyeing this one off, wanting to get it cut to see what the actual inside looks looks like. I am going to go through this top bit nice and slowly because of all of that melt and pour soap. It is going. Hopefully it won't ping. It is stuck on one of them but I don't know which. I should have turned it on its side but too late now. We are going through right through all that melt and pour. Let's get cut through and then we'll take a look at the inside. So that is the drawing of my soap and that is the inside of the soap. I couldn't have been asked for it to be any more spot on if I had tried. I am so in love with how this has come together. I really must try doing these sort of swirls again. I've seen it done before. I've just never actually attempted to do it. One, because of the amount of washing up that this one was going to cause with all six colours there. But I am so pleased that I did it. I'm so pleased it has come out just exactly as I had planned it to as well. I am absolutely loving how bright and colourful it is. I think it's going to be perfect for both little kids and big kids as well. Look at the tops, it's, it's just so bright and cheery and even though it's black, it, ju it just really pops as well. I am so super stoked with how this one has come out. It smells like you've just stuck your head inside a bag of jelly beans. So I'm really, really pleased with this fragrance. I will probably have to make more of this one. Really am very much in love with this particular soap. I hope you have enjoyed watching how I made my jelly bean soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can with any questions. So thank you again for watching. And until the next video, I hope you have a great one. And I will see you then. Bye.